हेलो गाइस इन दिस वीडियो वी लुक एट दी एन ग्रैप यूटिलिटी एन ग्रैप और नेटवर्क ग्रैप इज अ सिंपल यूटिलिटी थ्रू विच वी कैन डू पैटर्न मैचिंग और टेक्स्ट मैचिंग इन नेटवर्क पैकेट्स सो व्हाट एन ग्रैप एक्चुअली डज इज इट लुक्स एट द पेलोड ऑफ द पैकेट एंड गोज अहेड एंड सर्चेस फॉर वेरियस टेक्स्ट और बाइनरी पैटर्न विच यू रिक्वेस्टेड टू एंड इफ देर इज अ मैच इट विल गो हेड एंड शो दी एंटायर पेलोड ऑफ द पैकेट अलॉन्ग विद दी सोर्स डेस्टिनेशन आई पी एंड पोर्ट्स so let's quickly do an ngrep minus h and check out what options we have so ngrep can work both live on an interface by sniffing or you can feed it a pcap file as input and the main part is here in which you go ahead and give it a match expression for which it has to search in that packet dump or live on the network interface after that you can go ahead and define a berkeley packet filter which is exactly the way we do it for other tools such as tcp dump and t shark so let's just do a very simple initialization of ngrep and minus d stands for the interface let's give it the eth0 interface and let's say we search for the pattern vivek so if you notice a lot of hashes are being printed the reason for this is whenever ngrep is parsing a packet it prints a hash for that packet now this can be very noisy and disturbing so let's go ahead and stop ngrep from printing a hash for every packet which it parses this is done by using the minus q option so now ngrep is much less noisy and it goes ahead and is searching for the match of the word vivek in the packet which is sees as to a control c it's actually found a packet and let's scroll up okay this is the first packet it's found and if you actually look at it here is the string vivek so basically this is my gmail account and the gmail chat application is going ahead and querying the gmail servers most probably so in this example we can easily see how ngrep is able to locate text in the network dump point to note here is that it's also found the cookie which is being used and anybody familiar with a little bit of web application security would know that using a cookie you might be able to emulate my id to the gmail servers so now let's go ahead and give it something more interesting let's say the word confidential and along with that let's restrict our search only to http packets so here comes the matching expression of the bpf format right so here we are actually giving it an expression to use as a filter expression for the packets which it is using to search for the word confidential so let's go ahead and press enter and now if you notice that the filter is ip packets and tcp port 80 and of course it's searching for the word confidential now as a simple example let me open up the yahoo mail interface and go ahead and send a mail to myself right and if you notice this is the email address and the subject is confidential and the input is confidential here right so let me just go ahead send this mail out and you'll notice that ngrep is able to find that pattern now the point to notice that this yahoo mail page is being opened locally on my windows machine whereas this ngrep session is running on another machine which is in the same broadcast domain so that it has packet visibility now let me send this mail and you'll notice that ngrep is able to find out let me just press a control c here to make it simpler so ngrep has actually found out a match for confidential and if you notice here this is the email which we just sent out right subject is confidential body says this is confidential and the from address and the to address are basically same and that is to myself vivek underscore ec underscore itg so if you can notice here that ngrep is able to go ahead and mine the entire packet do some sort of a deep packet inspection and go ahead and match these text patterns so it does not only match words but you can actually feed it a regex so in this case let me just modify it and say you know anything which has hack in it right and let's once again go to our web interface and go to google 
and search for the word hacker right so we are getting a lot of traffic the reason being that google is replied back and basically all of those packets are being shown so let's just scroll up and here we are so we say match for hack and this is the first place where we are actually querying google for the word hacker right and you can see multiple hack phrases being used here right so let's go ahead and check out how good this filter is so you can just go back to our web interface and maybe just say hacks and maybe do a suffix s as well and if you notice the filter is working perfectly and it is able to find out once again anything with the word hack in it right so this is our s hacks right so actually uh, using ngrep we can feed it multiple filters for example let's say i want to search for both the presence of hack star as well as the presence of vivek right now any packet which matches either one of these two is going to be displayed so let's say the search for vivek and if you notice i'm actually finding out packets with the word vivek in it and with the same filter if you do anything with respect to the word hack you'll go ahead and find that as well right so here is hack so ngrep is actually a pretty good utility through which you can do a lot of text and pattern searching so it's also possible to give it a binary pattern i leave that as an exercise to you you can do a minus h and if you notice if you want to go ahead and search for a binary pattern then you have to use the minus capital x symbol right also it is possible to tell ngrep using the minus o option to basically dump the matching packets into a pcap file right so ngrep is pretty much you know whatever grep can do but on the network so go ahead and play with this uh, you know cool utility and try and incorporate it with some of the projects you're already making well that's it for this session thank you